Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. Basically, this is my solo survival world where I show you guys um, basically the way I do things, the builds that I use, um, and then I'll make a video and show you exactly how I do things. Again, if you haven't already, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button, and if you are liking my content, make sure you smash that like button. Um, basically as well we've also got a subscriber realm and the link to that subscriber realm is located in the discord however if you do not have discord do not fret you can add me on the twitter or the insta jam and i'll be happy to send you the code there so today's video we're making a, a villager breeder this thing um, is pretty decent it's light on resources and to be honest with you i've seen a few out there recently that use quite a lot of resources for what you actually need but this one is bare minimum really simple to build and yeah that's what we're doing today okay so we're going to get straight into it this time we're not going to um actually uh, there's no timestamp or anything. It's just straight away from it. It is a bit of a long video I did think it would take me a little bit shorter However, um, obviously I am in survival again I do all my tutorials in survival so you guys can follow along and obviously you know it fully works um, in survival So basically the resources you're gonna need you're gonna need a composter six beds six pieces of glass four half slabs a bucket of water and also four buttons that is literally it in addition to that you are going to need two villagers to get this started and actually come to think of it now if you do want to protect this villager breeder that you're going to build if it's not like in the air so it's away from mobs you might want to get some fences as well i know um I'm, i i end up putting some fences around mine just purely to protect my villagers from zombies and obviously pillagers so first step you're going to want to dig this kind of shape out too deep um exactly like i'm doing so obviously there's the first layer all it is is a three by three square and then it's got a little shoot where the villager uh, baby villagers will go down um and of course you can make this shoot go straight into a nether portal and that's how you're going to make this infinite as soon as the villagers go through to the nether um the villagers that you're actually breeding won't uh, will think there's not enough villagers in the village so they'll carry on breeding once you obviously feed them some wheat yeah basically they will carry on breeding when the baby villagers have been took far enough away from this so second step what you're going to want to do is place a holder block and place a half slab like this not directly on the ground um, you want to go one half slab up purely for the fact when we put our water in um, it's going to go around that and there's not going to be any area for the baby zombie um, zombies baby villagers to get trapped again you want to go up three half slabs after that place a holder block on top of that and also you're going to want to place another the holder block on top of that basically your villagers are going to live in there so what we can actually do now is get our glass and go around that holder block with the glass okay you're only going to need four pieces so i actually don't know why i told you to get six pieces however um you might end up going wrong i don't know um make sure you've just got enough anyway but like i said you are only going to need four pieces in total there we go and then what we can do is actually remove that uh, dirt holder block if you so choose um well you will need to do it so um it's not an option <laughs> you've literally got to do it to get your villages in there so make sure you do that next we're going to grab our composter and our six beds buttons and our water so as far as the beds go basically we're going to make a little platform on the back but before we do that we're going to actually put a our composter on so our composter is going to sit on this end block here and we're going to have the beds located behind the composter again um i use a compost because it changes them into a farmer villager that way they will pick up the wheat and they will actually be happy enough to breed which is exactly what we're going for so now what i'm going to do is make um, a little platform out of some holder blocks again i'm going to have to mine some dirt very very unprepared but it's not to worry we can get that done super fast with my super awesome shovel spade or shovel i don't know which one is it so um, yeah, let's get this little platform done and basically we're just going to put our six beds on top of this platform Super easy super simple uh, Like I say the resources are next to nothing for this farm and and obviously I am also in a jungle biome So the baby villagers that are going to get produced are going to have the little jungle outfit Which is super super awesome again me and Chris on Jamcraft if you're keeping it up with Jamcraft We've actually done this in a swamp village. So uh, well in a swamp village a swamp biome 
room, should I say, um, which is um, obviously gather some swamp villagers. And again, they look so much better than normal villagers, hence why I've done it in a jungle. The outfits are just so good, really so good. So now what we need to do is actually jump on top of this platform if I can actually manage it <laughs> again. I'm, I'm so amateur at the minute. There we go, we got there in the end. So again, we're going to get our, our beds. Um, and as soon as we've got our beds, we can start... Why am I on the floor again? No, why did this spider have to attack me? Now we've got to get back up there. So let me just get back up here again. Hopefully I don't make a massive deal about it. There we go. So place bed number one. Um, we can go ahead and place bed number two. I have no idea what happened there. Was that like a little glitch? That looked like a glitch to me. I don't know. Um, there you go. Bed number three. Bed number four. Let me just grab the other two beds. Um, bed number five and bed number six. Again, it would start raining as soon as we've pretty much done. Um, again, let me just go to sleep so it stops raining. And there we go. Um, so basically you can remove these holder blocks from underneath the beds after these are no longer required and obviously we need to put our water in now as well. So as far as the water goes, what you're going to want to do, um, if you just put the water like this, they're going to be able to get out and there's going to be a source block of water. I don't know if you've seen that in the back spot. So what you're going to need to do is remove this block that I've just removed and place the water in there like so, okay? And this is going to prevent any source blocks of water. The half slab just above the ground is going to prevent um, the water from actually uh, clogging up and going anywhere. And it's going to push those little baby villagers all the way around into the chute, um, obviously either to the nether or wherever you're going to take them. Okay, so now the water is in. We've got one final step before we actually start putting the villagers in. Basically, we need to grab our buttons. Do we have our... Yeah, we got our buttons on us. And basically, with the four buttons, we're just going to put them on these half slabs. Um, again, you could have used um, a full solid block on these top two half slabs, but I think it looks pretty good just with half slabs, you know. Again, all the buttons are going to do is make it so um, the villagers, the baby villagers, think that they're um, like a, a, a block, if you like, so they're just going to walk off straight away. Um, again, buttons are really good for that, so that's a nice little tip if you didn't know that already. Again, we've already got zombies around here, which is not cool. Let me just kill that. And like I said, now we can actually start putting the villagers in. So, I'm going to tell you now, I had a real problem with my villagers, right? Not the fact that I had to put them in or anything. I had two villagers that were locked into their trade. So, what that means is... Um, even if you destroy their, like, job block, um, so, for example, this one's a librarian, I destroyed all the lecterns, and, um, he's still a librarian, he's not changing into a farmer villager, which is, um, which is not good in our case, okay, so we need these to change, um, so I did actually have to go and get another villager, but you'll see that very, very soon, but this will work with a minimum of two villagers, um, but you will see that I actually have to put a third villager in, so there's villager number one, again, you can just put these in simply as I did using a minecart, super easy, super simple, um, and then you just destroy the minecart, collect it from the water stream, and that should be good to go, so now we can actually go and get our second villager but like i said the villagers that i actually picked and put in were not the right ones um they, they were locked into the jobs which pre pre prevented me from giving them wheat for some reason i had no idea that this was a thing i was like under the influence that um you could feed them anyway so i had no idea what's going on so like i said i had to go and get another villager but you will see when i put my final villager in um the actual difference it makes okay so Basically, um, what you're going to want to do when you have got your villagers in, you can destroy any holder blocks like that. Again, like I say, you will see a point where I um, had to record another little bit and put another villager in because I wanted to show you this thing working. Because, I mean, what's the point in doing a tutorial if it literally doesn't work? So, um, again, be careful when you're knocking that minecart out for the second time. You don't want to end up hitting your villagers. And then go and place yourself a half slab exactly where I did. And all that's going to do is give you enough room to throw some wheat in there. Um, but it's, it's not leaving enough room for little zombies and stuff like that to get in if they do. So here we go. I managed to get myself a farmer villager from a really, really far away village. Basically, how I got him here was in a boat and I used a bucket of water. It took forever. But eventually, we got to this point. And watch this. As soon as I put them in... They start breeding. This, I didn't even expect that myself. But, 
um, it worked. It, do, it did work. So we, now we know when we feed this, this thing is going to work. Again, you've got to move these baby villagers away from this. Um, depending on how many you want. If you want, um, I don't know, 10, you will have to keep moving them away from it before they breed again because they will know that there's so many villagers in this village because this technically is classed as a village now. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, you've seen the baby villager with the uh, nice little jungle outfit. Again, I've got to say it's my personal favourite. So, um, yeah, here's just a little clip of me throwing some wheat in and then th they start literally breeding. They love it. They literally love it. So, if we, let's have a, look, a little look at that villager again. I'm so glad I picked a jungle biome to do it in. Um, again, in my opinion, jungle biomes are the best. I do, do really love jungle biomes. And if we wait um, a little second... There we go. There's village art baby number two. And it's super epic, super epic. Again, I did not expect this video to take this long, so I do apologize. But that is literally the end of the tutorial. I do hope that this helps you um, in your world. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on. Um, again, smash like if you haven't already. Uh, the subscriber realm, the link to that is in the Discord, and the link to the Discord is in the description alongside all of my other social media. So if you do not have Discord, feel free to hit me up on any of the other platforms. So that being said, let's not waste any more time. I will catch you on the next one.